To create a shared folder properly, you need a bit of planning before you begin. The most important thing to know about shared folders is that permissions need to be assigned for groups and not individual users. Even if the folder is only shared for a single person, that person's user needs to be added to a group and the shared folder permissions need to be assigned to that group. There is one exception to this suggestion, and it is when the shared folder is for personal use. For example, when syncing the user's documents or desktop folders to the network. Let me show you the basic structure on my network and you could do something similar on yours if you choose to. In the Active Directory Users and Computers interface, I have an organizational unit which contains all my security groups, as you can see here. Another organizational unit contains additional organizational units per department. Inside are users that are members of those departments. These users are members of the appropriate groups. The Office Employees group contains all company users and is used to assign permissions for shared resources that are accessible by everyone in the company, such as documentation, for example. The IT group has IT members, the HR group has HR members, and so on. To create a shared folder, open Server Manager, click Tools and click Computer Management. Expand the shared folders and click Shares. Right-click and click New Share. Read the welcome screen and click Next. Never skip this important step. A lot of time and effort was put into the design of this welcome screen. Admire the designer's good job and proceed. Browse to the folder you want to share by clicking the Browse button and locate the much desired folder. As you can see here, I created a folder which I named Shared Folders. That way, no one can mistake this folder for being something else. Inside this folder are folders that I will use to create the actual shares. Choose your folder and click OK. Verify the folder path here and click Next. Assign a name for the shared folder here. The full path appears here. Click Next to proceed. This is where you assign permissions. You can choose one of these available options here or choose the custom option, which is what I am doing in this video. Click Customize Permissions and click Custom. Here you can see two tabs. The Shared Permissions tab assigns permissions to use the folder when accessing it from the network. The Security tab assigns permissions to the folder for local use. This is of course simplified. There is a lot to explain about the difference between these two tabs. Please let me know in the comments below if you need more information about this. To enhance security access to folders and prevent future mistakes as much as possible, avoid using the Everyone group when assigning permissions. As you can see here, I am assigning full control to domain admins, removing the Everyone group and assigning change permissions to the HR group since this is a share for HR. Avoid assigning full control permissions to non-admin users. Click the Security tab, click Edit, add the same groups as you did in the previous step, assign the same permissions, click OK, and click OK again, and click Finish. Verify the information here and click Finish. To create another shared folder, check this box and click Finish. As you can see here, I am creating another shared folder for the IT department, with one small change. I want this folder to be hidden and not to appear in the shared folders list. To do that, all you need to do is add the dollar sign as the last character of the share name. The rest is the same, adding admins adding IT, removing everyone, and doing the same in the Security tab. Click Finish to close all the open windows related to the share creation. Now you can see the good work you just did by opening a file explorer and typing the server name like this. As you can see, 
the HR share is here, but the IT share is not, because it is hidden. To access it, use its hidden name like this. Now, let's have a look at what it looks like for the end user. John Doe is the IT guy. He is signing in to his Windows 11 computer. As a member of the IT department, he has permissions to access the hidden IT share. When he tries to access the HR share, he gets this error since he doesn't have the appropriate permissions to access this share. He then enters the hidden share name here and gains access to that share. And because he has the change permissions, he can create files, edit and save them.